ever wonder where all those dust mites went before we had a machine to suck them out of hiding? An Ohio inventor found out the hard way and revolutionized carpet cleaning in the process. In 1907, James Spangler has a killer of a job. He's the night janitor in a department store. Problem is, the rugs are very dusty and Spangler's got asthma. It was a terrible environment for him to be in because nightly fits of coughing, and it described simply as fits of coughing, meant that 10, 15 minutes of his time was sitting down on the floor coughing, trying not to cough up blood. The early 1900s are a brutal time for anyone with asthma. Dust was everywhere. The streets and the sidewalks in Canton, Ohio were not paved. They were dirt streets. So people's shoes and boots brought a lot of this dirt into the department store. And the carpet sweeper itself, a primitive brush on wheels and a dustpan, only makes things worse for a guy with bad lungs. Spangler's desperate to come up with something better. Mr. Spangler dreamed big dreams and he really dreamed of becoming a world-famous inventor. Spangler's not famous, but he has invented some interesting things. He's got patents for a grain harvester and a velocipede wagon, but he hasn't made much money from either idea. Once you invent something, the next thing you have to do is sell it, and therein lies his problem because he wasn't a natural salesman. So he's stuck doing menial jobs to make ends meet. Six nights a week for pennies an hour. All those months on the night shift are giving Spangler a lot of time to think. His mind was always working um, as any inventor's mind does. Uh, the smallest of problems, he would think of ways to solve them or make them easier. One night, it suddenly dawns on Spangler. The answer might be right there in the room with him. The ceiling fan is powered by a small motor. What if that motor could be used in a rug sweeper to make pushing and pulling easier? As he unscrewed the fan blades, took them off, and set the motor into the carpet sweeper. And where the blades were, he took a leather belt and put it in a figure eight to the brush, power propelling the brush. The good news, adding a motor makes the sweeper a lot easier to push. The bad news, it creates more dust than ever. Oi, sir, how is this supposed to help? So it kicked the dust straight up out of the machine into the air, which he had to breathe. Spangler needs to come up with something to direct and contain all that dust. Something like the blades from that ceiling fan. He encloses a smaller version of those blades in a tin box that's attached to the sweeper. The motor rotates the brush and beats the dirt from the carpet while the revolving blades suck the debris upward straight into a pillowcase that Spangler's found in a linen closet. His time to empty signal was when the fan motor blew the pillowcase off the back of the machine through the back pressure. Oh, stop, empty it. <laughs> it's clear he needs to make a few adjustments. He keeps using the department store as his laboratory. He started to perfect it. He would make the fans out of a different shape he would make the opening different. And so night after night after night, it started to really work. And he could see the color come back to the carpets. Spangler has invented the electric carpet sweeper. What he came up with in that department store, cobbled together from bits and things that he had in that janitor's closet, are still today the perfect way of getting a carpet completely clean. Oh, you missed the spot. In August 1908, 
James Spangler sells his invention to a relative, William Hoover. And we've been hoovering our floors ever since. More inventions of the 1900s. 1903 safety glass. Invented by accident when a chemist forgets to wash liquid plastic out of a glass container. The result? A window that doesn't shatter. Smash and grab, eh, my friend? But before you can grab, you've got to be able to smash. And that's just what you can't do to this window. 1901. Instant coffee. So your morning jolt brews in seconds, not minutes, and stays fresh indefinitely. As delicious as the best cup of coffee you ever have brewed. And 1903. The windshield wiper. A distraction at first that quickly becomes a must-have for millions of drivers. Coming up, a pair of brothers soar to new heights with the biggest change in transportation since the invention of the wheel.